name is Andrew Mutana, the pastor of Impact Church in Westlands. God has a plan. Trust Him with your life. Trust Him with your family. Trust Him with your business. And one of the greatest things that you can do to create an atmosphere for God to move in your life is to praise. Refuse to confess doubt and confess what God is saying. Out of that prison. Come out of the prison of shame, the prison of fear, the prison of the past, the prison of your feelings, and become a prisoner of hope. We need men and women that can rise up and upset the status quo. We need men and women that can rise up and speak the word of God with boldness, without fear or favor. We need men and women that can stand up and be a witness for God in this generation. Welcome. Today I would like to talk to you about don't be afraid, only believe. You see, in the scriptures, there is a time when Jesus Christ was coming into a city. And as he's coming into the city, he realizes that there were people that were moving out of the city. And these people were crying and they were disturbed. And, and then he found out that they were carrying a coffin of a boy that had died. And the Bible says that this boy was the only son of a woman. And this woman was crying because this was... Her hope, she had been raising this child and she expected a lot from this child. But now the child had died. And so they are crying because they, would, they were seeing that the only hope that this woman had, had been snuffed away from her. And many times in our lives we can build things. You can work, it could be a business that you have been building for a long time. And then you do something and it seems like you've lost all your savings. It could be that you've just lost a loved one and you're grieving because of the life of someone that you look to, that you depended on, that now is gone. It could be that something that you had hoped in for a long time is all gone. I keep thinking about how people, you know, when they get disasters, like right now there's there are floods in many places and you lose everything that you've been looking for. But God wants you to know that you should not fear, only believe. The devil uses the weapon of fear. As a matter of fact, I found out that there are basically two things that the devil uses. He uses lies and he uses fear. Because the enemy is not as powerful as most of the time we take him out to be. But what he uses is to cause us to be afraid. His major weapons are lies and fear. Because when you begin to fear, then the problem that you have becomes magnified. The mountain that you have becomes bigger. Everything before you becomes too huge for you. But every time you have faith, then your eyes are turned away from your situation to the greatness of your God, to the bigness of your God. And that's why praise is the greatest language of faith because praise magnifies God. That's why David says, I will bless the Lord continually. His praise shall continually be on my mouth. And so in whatever situation you're in, that's what the Bible says that do not be anxious about anything, but in all things by prayer and by supplication, just mention your requests to God. Just make your requests known to God. And once you do that, the peace of God that passes human understanding will guard your heart and guard your mind. Most of us do not get results for our prayer because we are praying from a place of fear, not a place of faith. We are anxious, we are running to God, we are crying to God, and yet God wants you to pray and come to Him from a place of rest, a place of peace. God wants you to, re to surrender everything. That's why the Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter 5 and, and verse 7, it says, casting all of your cares upon Him, because he cares for you. My friend, the thing that you're carrying today, the thing that you're worried about today, your worrying, your fearing, your anxiety will just cause more pain to you. It's not going to change any problem. But if you rest in God and say, God, I have prayed. I have done everything I could, but now I will not fear. I will believe you. And I feel that even as you, sh as you listen to this, there's somebody that is listening and watching me that you have a big financial debt. You have a big mountain of debt before you. You have sickness in your body. You have been told that you're going to be evicted from that house. And God is saying today, you need not fear. 
only believe in God. There is power when you believe. There is power when you say, fear, I command you to leave. I'm going to rest in God. I'm going to believe in God. That is the beginning of your miracle. So right now, let me pray for you and believe God with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to the spirit of fear to leave and I release the power of faith. Let faith arise and let that miracle begin to happen in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, don't be afraid, only believe. Shalom. God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you at Impact Church. We are at Povey House in Westlands. You can call us. You can visit our website. You can go to our Facebook page and even subscribe to YouTube for more videos. God bless you. Shalom.